I'm Roz Blewett and my role at Wright Hospital is I'm the clinical nurse consultant for critical care. So I help with really sick patients and I support and mentor staff and I do a lot of education in the hospital. My brother, my sister and myself, we were born here and it's about time we had a redevelopment here at Ride. I think the staff will be excited and I'm personally looking forward to a new intensive care unit that is functionally designed, making it really good for patients. It will have new equipment which is great. It's got a lot of light, there's a lot of windows. We've also got a veranda on our new intensive care unit so we can take them out into fresh air and it's really good for their mental health. So I've um, been a part of uh, quite a few project user groups. It's a collaboration between lots of staff. So it's not just nurses and doctors, it's you know, the environmental staff, the architects obviously, and just everybody's input into making it like a really good space for patients. Education is so important in a hospital. Nurses and clinical staff, you have to update all the time. And so one of the really exciting things about the redevelopment of Wright Hospital is what's happening with Deniston House. It's being changed into an education centre. So downstairs is going to be the library and meeting rooms and upstairs we're having um, two simulation rooms purposefully built by the design committee. So I'm looking forward to all those positive things that will come with the new department. And the thing I love about Ride is it is so community focused. So I think for the community, the fact that the hospital is, it's going to stay, it's not going anywhere. And I think the patients like to be here and it's their hospital. The Ride Hospital redevelopment has held 245 project user and working group meetings involving over 120 staff members, NSLHD representatives, consumers and project representatives covering all aspects of clinical and non-clinical design, major medical equipment, furniture, fittings and equipment, outdoor spaces, environmental sustainability, arts and culture initiatives, information and communications technology, engineering services, and many other aspects which are fed into the design process to create a hospital of the future. Visit our website for more details.